Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really awesome Raspbian release for the Raspberry Pi 4. This is known as Linux Raspbian XP Professional. This was done by my good buddy over at Pi Labs, and I want to give him a big shout out. He has an XP version, which I'm running here, and he also has a Windows 95 version, but you can switch the XP version over to Windows 98. Personally, I like the Windows XP version, so we're just going to be taking a look at this in this video. You can download either of the releases over on his YouTube channel, and I'll link that in the top of the description. You guys definitely have to try this out. I've always been a big fan of Windows XP. Now keep in mind, this is not Windows. This is still Linux. It's running Raspbian. It's a Debian offshoot, but it's been skinned to look like Windows XP, Windows 98, or you can do the Windows 95 version. So he has added a ton of stuff to this release. I mean, everything that I ever wanted is already built into this release. If we head down to the start menu, we got that super awesome XP look. Search menu does work, so if we search for keyboard, I can head to my keyboard section. And by the way, the first release, at least the one that I downloaded for XP, was set to Spanish, the keyboard was. I had to switch it to English, not a big deal. Back to the start menu, we have terminal, file manager, and web browser right here in the main menu. And speaking of the web browser, there's two built in, regular old Chromium and the media edition. So with the Media Edition, this will allow us to play Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, and tons of other online media services. So let's just head over to Netflix. I've already signed in. And we'll just play Tiger King. This is my way of So there's nothing you need to do here to get Netflix and Hulu up and running. It just works right out of the box. Also, Spotify will work if you're into that. Next on the list, we'll head down to the start menu. Favorites, recently used, and this does work. I've recently used all of these. We have all, accessories, games, and we'll get to that in a second. Graphics, we have LibreOffice Draw, and GIMP isn't pre-installed, but you can install that very easily from the terminal. Internet, like I mentioned, regular old Chromium and the Media Edition. And Office, we have the full Libra Suite built in. So I mean, yeah, this has been working really well, and it should because basically this is just Raspbian with an XP skin. Personally, I love the look of this. It just gives me a big change from the regular old Raspbian look. Everything that I need is already pre-installed, minus GIMP, like I mentioned. He also has a Windows 98 VM built in. So if we open this up, Give it a little time to load. We got Windows 98 right on this machine. So this is totally separate from Raspbian with that XP skin. Press Control Alt G to unlock the cursor from within the VM. And as you can see, we'll go back to it. And this is just a cool little feature. Box86 is pre-installed, so you can easily play older Windows games on your Raspberry Pi while running Raspbian here. And I'll give you a quick look. I do have a game ready to go under Documents, New Folder, Hotline Miami. So this is already set up for Box86. We'll boot it up. You can go full screen with this, but you will have to set your resolution to 720 for this to be fully playable. Mine's set at 1080 right now, so I'm going to leave it in window mode. If I go to full screen, it will be a bit slow because it needs to run at a lower resolution because the Pi is such a low power board. Now, if you want to get a bunch of different old school PC games up and running on your Raspberry Pi, definitely check out Pi Labs YouTube channel. He's got a ton of different games up and running with Box86 and he's got a bunch of tutorials also. Given a lot of them have to run at 720p, but they still look great because they're older PC games and they run really well at that resolution on the Pi. As you can see, when I full screen this, it does get a bit slow, but as soon as I go back to window mode, it's fine. And that's really because the resolution of my Raspberry Pi is set at 1080 right now, and this is just a very low powered single board computer. But sitting in window mode or 720p, this game runs great, and he's got a lot of other games running at full speed using Box86 and the Raspberry Pi 4. But one of my favorite parts about this whole release is the retro gaming aspect of it. If we head down to the start menu and go to games, we have DOSBox, Nintendo DS, MAME, N64, PSP, Dreamcast, GumVM, SNES, and a ton of other ones. So I'm going to go to ReDream. 
and I'll just start Soul Calibur. I've already got my controller set up and I've imported my games. So there was no setup whatsoever required. This is not going to be upscaled because this is the free version of Redream, but it does work really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now this release does come overclocked to 2 GHz out of the box, and I recommend overclocking, but you will need some cooling. You can always change that if you want and try it at the stock speeds, but I do recommend overclocking with something like this. But yeah, Dreamcast is working fine on the Raspberry Pi 4 running this. We also have N64. And I just set this up in window mode. Out of the box, it's going to go full screen for you. It does run pretty well with a lot of the lower end games, like Diddy Kong Racing. It will run them at full speed. And finally, at least for this video, you can test out everything that's pre-installed here. But I did set up PSP. So it'll launch the standalone version of PPSSPP. You can use your controller to navigate, or you can use your mouse. So I'll just load it here. I am upscaled to 2x, so I do have frame skip on. But overall, it's really not that bad. And uh, I mean, PSP isn't the greatest right now, especially running something like Raspbian because of the GPU driver state of the Raspberry Pi 4. But with frame skip on, most of the game should be playable at 2 to 3x resolution. So yeah, overall this has been great. There's a quick experiment I want to run. I want to try running Netflix and Super Nintendo at the same time so I could watch a movie and play a game on the Raspberry Pi 4. Not sure how well this is going to work out, but I'm going to be using SNES 9X. This is the standalone version. We got Netflix over on the right hand side, and I do have sound here. I just turned it down just in case there's any music. I'll load up a game, and I have a state ready to go, and yeah, I mean, I'm playing Super Nintendo, watching Netflix at the same time on a Raspberry Pi 4, using this build here, and performance really isn't that bad. I am getting a bit of screen tearing with SNES, but overall, I mean, it's pretty decent. So if you're interested in getting this up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4, I'll leave a link to Pi Labs YouTube channel in the description and a link to the video that has the download links. So all you're going to do is head over to the video and I'll give you a quick look here. He's got the Windows 95 running. Definitely check out his other videos. He's got some amazing stuff on his channel. You can pick it up right here. He's got the XP and the 95 version. I recommend at least the 2 gigabyte model of the Raspberry Pi 4, but the 4 gigabyte model is going to be where it's at. And some type of cooling because this is overclocked out of the box to 2 gigahertz. Like I said, you can go back to the stock clocks, but I definitely recommend having that overclock just to make everything a lot more snappier. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching and I want to give a big shout out to Pi Labs for providing this for all of us to use. Now this is one of my favorite operating systems for the Raspberry Pi at the moment. I'm going to be using this all weekend and if I find out anything interesting about it, I'll post another video. But that's it for this one and like always, thanks for watching.